Well, hello, 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 my friends. Welcome back to my channel. Or welcome you to my channel. How do you become a marine biologist? So many people are interested in knowing how, how to become a marine biologist or how to become a marine scientist. And it's, there's so many different ways of doing it. I just decided to tell you my story and maybe you can learn a bit from it. Let's start from the beginning. I am one of those rare persons who actually became what I said I wanted to be when I grew up when I was a kid. I cannot say that I've always only wanted to be a marine biologist. I was also a kid who changed my mind all the time. I also wanted to be part of the Marines, astronaut, Sailor Moon, teacher, Lara Croft, an archaeologist because I wanted to be Lara Croft, the lady at the supermarket because she could press all those buttons and it looked so cool. True, I did want to be a lot of things, but from a fairly young age, I say I want to be a marine biologist. I've only really started thinking or even learning about that marine biology was a profession through a movie show, a movie show, a, through a TV show called Ocean Girl. Ocean Girl was an Australian TV show broadcasted in the 90s about a girl who lived in an isolated island who could breathe underwater and talk to a whale called Charlie. She then bef befriends two boys whose mom is actually a marine biologist who works in an underwater research station called Orca. How cool was that? For a kid who was already a bit almost getting kind of obsessed with the ocean. And this was like the best series ever. And Dragon Ball and Power Rangers were pretty close as well. Also, I had my first star crush. Ah, Jason. At some point in my life, I realized that I would probably never be able to breathe underwater or also talk to whales. But this, my interest for the ocean already started started growing there. I started reading a lot about marine biology, about explorers in general, and at some point I got really obsessed with everything that had dolphins. This was a disease, Maria, this was a disease. <laughs> everything that had a dolphin in it, I had to buy it. Got way out of control. People would literally only giving me things with dolphins. Oh, <laughs> a pan with the dolphin on the bottom. <laughs> Thank you so much. I only have 10 of those. I really needed another one. And at some point I started being honest and say, please stop giving me things with dolphins. And since then I kind of never bought things with dolphins ever again. <laughs> this, <laughs> how did that get there? I still have some remnants of my past. My crazy passion for dolphins also stopped, but again, I still had this very feel, strong feeling for the ocean. I was very obsessed about how much is, was not known about the ocean, about how mysterious it was, and uh, the, everything that was already known was so cool for me. When I entered high school, when things started getting more serious and I really needed to decide what I wanted to do in my life and to which university and which bachelor degree I should apply. I, I thought about many things, I, but ultimately I did enroll in biology at the University of Lisbon and I managed to get in. I was for four years doing my bachelor in biology and then I started my master's degree for two years in marine ecology. First year it was mainly courses and then the second year it was a uh, master thesis. In the first year, I was six months in Denmark through an exchange program called Erasmus. And there, I actually met a guy who would in future become my boyfriend. Just remember this, it's going to be important further ahead in my story. Then when I came back from Denmark, I started my master thesis. When it came for me to decide which topic I would do in my master thesis, I was very confused. I was going crazy looking up every kind of stuff on the internet because I wanted to go on field work, but I also wanted something that really interested me. Also, at the moment, I didn't have much money, so I had to apply for a master thesis, which did not require that I had to pay to do the field work. And this in Portugal is not very common. I came across, finally, a master thesis that really interested me about marine birds in an isolated island in the Atlantic. Exactly the adventure I was looking for. When I came back from Denmark, I went two months to this island. It's called Salvage Island. Here it is. This story could be a video just on its own, so I will not tell you what happened there. Then I came back 
and I started writing my thesis. When I handed in my thesis, until I could defend it in front of a jury, I had to wait for a couple of months. Remember the boyfriend, the boy that I told you before I met in Denmark? Well, at some point we started dating and we had a long distance relationship. He was living in Austria and I was living in Portugal. I decided during this period, while I was waiting to defend my thesis, to go to Austria for a couple of months to learn German. I had German classes in the morning and I decided to, since I was in Vienna, to check out what kind of things in science or marine science was being done in the city. I came across this really cool group of microbial oceanography, which was basically a group working on a topic that I had never really worked before. And so I contacted the group and asked if it was possible for me to just like work there, kind of an internship. So I was there for two months, which then led to me getting a contract as an assistant for one year. During this year, I decided I wanted to do a PhD after a lot of inner struggle and decided to apply for grants. A miracle from the gods. I got a PhD grant which then led me to starting my PhD last year in the same lab and now here I am on my second year of PhD telling you my story. So this is very 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 compact how the story of my professional life. After you heard me talking it might seem that everything was super easy to me and when I came to make decisions that I've always knew what I wanted to do all the time which is totally not true. Actually it rarely was a time that I was 100% sure that this is actually what I wanted to do. However, somehow I never did drop out and I continued where I started and at the moment I'm really happy I did because I'm really happy doing what I am doing at the moment. So here comes the cliche cheesy fortune cookie moment of the day. If there's something you are really, really, really passionate about and that really inspires you and really makes you want to go to work or whatever going to work means for you just go for it however it's also fine that if you think you love something then you try it and you find out okay maybe this is not exactly what i want it's also fine to then change your path into something else that you might like this doesn't make you a loser or a failure or a quitter it just makes you someone who tried something that you actually did not like afterwards which is totally fine because that's just what life is all about. You try stuff and then you don't like it. You don't like with food. You don't know if you like something until you try it. And then after you try it, you can decide, yeah, I'm never gonna have this broccoli again. Basically, this didn't really help anyone, right? So the only maybe more important advice that I can give you is just make the choices for yourself. Don't let other people make the choices for you. Don't let the judgment of other people affect what you want to do because you're the one who's gonna have to live your life and be with yourself the rest of your life and to work on whatever it is you decide to work on. This ended up being kind of a motivational talk. It was really not intended that way, but I will probably still put it on the video. So I would really be interested in hearing your story. If you identify or not with anything I said, let me know. I would really be interested in knowing if this kind of weirdness is only me or not. And of course, if you like the video, don't forget to like it and share it and to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos, motivational talk or not. See you!